Hey yo everybody, my name is Jay Was and welcome back to Automation where we're going to be making another attempt at making an all around pickup truck. After the last one utterly failed, I want to at least make something remotely successful. I wanted to actually go a quarter mile in under 10 seconds for the love of god and actually go faster than an end game pickup truck. That's the goal. I want something faster and I want something that can rock crawl. I want something to have clearance for rock crawling, but also faster on this to be a pain in the ass to design. The first one was a failure. If you'd like to see that, I'll put a link to it in the description below. Hopefully this one will be more successful. For the love of god, and maybe not. So I chose the very wonky looking pickup truck last time, at least, you know, like the Japanese pickups. I could try to go for a ute, but I don't think they would have the clearance, unless I gave it a lift kit. It's so weird they have what is basically a flatbed in here. Okay, that's actually the first time I've seen those in here. What the hell is that? I could go for the sunflower pickup. We got a typical standard bed, then we got uh, one with the back doors, but with basically no bed. You know what? Yeah, let's try that one, even though that... I can't do it. I can't do it. It's, I, no, that's not a pickup. We'll just go for this one. That, that, that's more of a pickup. Partial lumen, just like last time. Partial monocoque, because it's actually got pretty significant weight. Actually, no, it's got to have a ladder frame, because it is a pickup truck, so we'll do that. AHS steel, front launch toodle, double wishbone suspension up front, multi-link suspension in the rear. It's going to be a fun engine to design. Let's do a 90 degree V8. Aluminum billet. We'll keep it at the size that it's currently at. We don't want to make it too big. Dual overhead cam. Let's do four valve. Aluminum heads. Maxed out quality. I'm gonna switch to, to a flat plane crank. And we're gonna do, uh, let's see. Forged heavy flat plane crank. Forged heavy conrads. Actually, do titanium conrads. Screw it. Forged heavy pistons and a harmonic damper. We're gonna add about... 10 pounds. We'll do 10 pounds. We'll do the VVV intake. We'll worry about the rest of this stuff later. Single turbo. But that about 500. I don't know how much horsepower it's gonna have, so we'll worry about that part later as well. Let's do boost control for the, uh, yeah, the setup. Injection, direct injection per cylinder, absolute requirement. Performance mid. We're about, we're about the rest later when we find out how the engine runs. Let's do turbo mid. Maybe we should do, yeah, let's do tubular race. The high flow three way Cadillac converter. Straight through, straight through. Oh, that is a terrible curvature. What happens if we make it a twin turbo? Oh my god, that turbo lag is stupid. And the power actually goes down? Is that right? Yeah, it does. Okay, I'll fix this up. I'll be right back. Okay, so, um, I did fix it up. But it's got way more power than I was expecting. The stress of the compressor is slightly high, but everything else is... Mwah, there is no stress on anything else. That is perfect. I was not expecting it to work out that... Wow. Okay, we got almost 800 horsepower. There is no current warnings, which... How the hell? All right, I guess we're gonna move on to the body. What kind of body morphins we got, please tell me. Ah, uh, yeah. What happens if you... Give it a pointy nose? <laughs> yeah, that's not a good idea. Flatten it up. Wow. Yeah, there we go. This is about to be the stupidest thing I've ever built. No, it's not. It's gonna be beautiful. It's gonna work out beautifully. <laughs> Shorten up the pitch just slightly. There we go. Ah, uh, yeah. Ain't that a pretty color? <laughs> oh, yeah. Black tray, black roof. Nice. Why do I always go for circular headlights like that looks normal? I gotta try something else. All right, that looks good. Now, let's get a grill that, uh... I don't know if we can get a matching grill for that. That's gonna be hard to do on this weird ass like a pickup truck. Okay, that's about as normal as I can get it. How, how's that look? Stupid? Yeah, you're right. Designing vehicles is hard, man. I don't know how the hell people do it. Like, what, what the hell is going on with the grill? That, it looked, what the hell? You know what? That, that'll have to do. That's the best I'm gonna get out of that. Once again, because this is for towing, you know we gotta do it. Yeah! Alright, let's go for a little more conservative approach. Slightly smaller. There we go. <laughs> they look so huge on this thing. What the hell? Why not just think of that? Yeah, there- There we go! I don't know why I just didn't think of streaking the height. Now that it looks absolutely ridiculous. You'll have to do- Tiny door handles have been installed. Wait, can I make them smaller? How small can you make them? <laughs> All you need is a pinky to open the door. Tow bar has been installed! Gotta have a fuel cap. Where the hell do you put a fuel cap on a pickup truck? I never asked that before. What are we right here? You would think I know. I am American after all. Get the antenna from a Ford Focus put on here. There we go. Dual fat exhaust. All right, it's a little green. I'll, I'll, I'll make it smaller. Throw on a hood scoop for good measure. Get some cooling in that engine bay. We definitely need clearance because the biggest problem we had with the last truck was it didn't have enough clearance at the front for rock crawling. So we'll lift this up to the front, lift this up in the rear. Make it a little taller in the rear. There we go. That should have enough clearance for rock crawling. And last but not least, let's put a little wing on it. There. 
That little limp should do the trick. This truck is like mixed feeling. It looks good, but it looks hideous at the same time. Keep the wheels as they are, because that is utility. Gotta have four by four. Sequential seven speed, just like last time. 245 mile per hour top gear. Manual locker, maxed out quality. We'll do all terrain wheels. Max out the width on both. God, man, that's some thick boys right there. Slightly reduced to rim, rim size so we have better cushion on off-roading terrain. We're gonna do a fully clad under tray, active wing cooling flaps. We'll do exactly what we did last time. 60 on the front and 70 on the rear. Weight distribution, 75 to the front. All right, let's see what's screaming at me for. So far, it's saying the ride is a bit hard. That's the biggest complaint aside from the brake force being very high. Don't care about the tire width being too wide. I'm gonna leave it as is. Wow, I was actually able to fix the braking? That's a freaking miracle. All right, I'm about to completely ruin it. Maximum ride height. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay, it's a little high. Bring it down just a little bit. We're gonna stiffen the sway bars ever so slightly. All right. Perfect. All right, let's go ahead and bring it down to the BMG Drive. Was all the router 2.0. I really got to think of better names. It weighs almost 4,000 pounds, so it's actually pretty close to the truck we compared the last one to. So. It should be a lot better, I think. Time for some off-roading test. I don't doubt it'll do significantly better than the last one with the off-roading test. It sounds a lot less like a wet fart like the other one did. Oh boy. Okay, it might be a little stiff on the suspension. Hey yo! It's doing a lot better, I feel like. Engine just shut off. What the hell? The engine shut off! It won't stay on! Okay, we're good. We're doing great. And we made it. Easy. All right, here comes the important bit. This is what I struggled with last time. Rock crawling. All right, do we have the clearance? Please, for the love of God. Yes, we got clearance. Shit. Low four. Come on, you got this. You got this, damn it. No. Go lock the disc. Lock the disc. Why aren't you going? Come on. Come on. Ah. He doesn't want to go. Why does this struggle so much with rock climbing? You got the clearance. Slow acceleration. Slow acceleration. Not working. It's not working. For some reason, it's just not working. What happens if I go at full speed? Oh, one way to find out, right? That didn't work. Okay, at least try it this one. It's got to succeed at this one, right? We have the clearance. That makes me so happy. Shit! Run up! Go! Go! Oh! 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 Oh boy, that looks rough. Oh! No! 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 Stop! Stop! Shit! What was I expecting to happen? I I never even seen this part of this. Maybe if I come at it from the other side, perhaps? You got this! You got this! Yeah! Okay, so my vehicle so far is just simply not good for rock climbing. But I bet it do better on that sand pit than the other one did. I can bet I can do this slower too. Easy! Cakewalk for this thing. So last time the other one got stuck in here, I bet it can make it through. That one was nothing compared to this. This thing is a beast compared to that one. Wow. Seriously, this thing made it look easy compared to the other one. What about this bit? I should handle this just fine. Oh, I didn't know that was there. I didn't know that was there. I was dead. Another thing that the other one couldn't do is get through these. And that's just because of incredibly poor clearance. This should do it. So easy compared to that one. No, okay. Seriously, that almost made it look easy. Damn you. Do I have to go fast? Is that my only option? No! Low gear's not working. It should do just fine over here. I feel like it's got to. No way, come on now, don't tell- Really? There we- go! Oh! What the hell was that? Go, go, go! You got this! I know you got this, damn it, stop it, stop it! No! Oh! Low gear is actually doing the trick! That makes me so happy! There we go, that is what I'm talking about! I s Why is that happening right- Okay, there, thank you. Thank you, nope, oh, nope, oh, nope, oh, thank you! Jesus Christ, check that out! What is this even supposed to be? Don't you do it. Come on, you can do this! No, 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 Once again, it's one way to get stuck. Okay, so this thing has perfected off-roading aside from, well, rock crawling. For some reason the tire is like plastic on those things. That's something I might have to work on in the future, unless... Is it possible to deflate the tires? What, are you, I can deflate the tires? Oh, that's gonna be 
So good. Let's deflate it to like the bare minimum. Five PSI in the front, five PSI in the rear. The tires are now deflated. It should do beautifully on those rocks. Come on. I said you would do good. Stop proving me wrong. Oh, come on. Ah, damn you. Damn you for the love of God. It might legitimately just have too much power. Time to go to the West Coast. Jesus Christ, it doesn't burn out for days. I'm like, break, break, break. It doesn't have brakes. The last time we were here, we got a, a minute, I think it was 10 in my uh, cu other custom pickup truck. And the track truck from end of game made by the developers got a minute nine. Let's see if we can beat a minute nine. I have a bad feeling about this with those brakes. That was awful. Ooh, that zero to 60 is stupid. That's good. That's what we want. Brakes suck, though. Actually, they're not that bad. Okay, in sport mode, the brakes are good. In comfort mode, they're absolute garbage. I'm actually impressed on how well, how well the cornering is. That is surprising, actually. It's got such soft suspension. And we can change the corners because we got all terrain tires. <laughs> Understeers a little bit. How about here? Brake real hard. Turn to the right. Not too bad. Actually, better than I thought it would do. All right, all right. The brakes may need some improvement. Go, 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 go. It's the last corner. Oh, okay, the brakes need some serious improvement. That's pretty bad. That is awful. Nine seconds slower. Yeah, you can see the times right there. Nine seconds slower than the time we wanted to beat. Okay, so it's not good for track. Although it did way better than I thought it would. And just like last time, for some reason, the drag lights won't work on this vehicle. So we're just going to have to... Use my phone again. Electronic stability control completely off. We're gonna keep it in H4 or high four. Got my stopwatch ready. Three, two, one, go. And stop. So close. We got a 10.92. We still absolutely destroyed the track pickup truck, but damn it, we didn't get it under 10 seconds. So it's faster on a drag strip than the last truck. It's worse on the track. It does slightly better on rock crawling and much better on a typical off-road. It has more clearance. I mean, not much more, apparently, but it's definitely got more clearance. Now, we got one final test. Towing. Let's see how this bad boy tows. 2100 kilogram planks. Just like last time. Make it blue just to match the color. I do have one concern when it comes to trying to tow this. Well, yes, I got plenty of clearance. The suspension might be a little soft. And the tow bar might be a little too high. Yeah, when I say a little high, it's way too high. Hook it, hook it. There we go. How much lead do we get? We got some. We now are bulldogging. Yeah. And just like last time, our destination is going to be all the way up here. We're going to be delivering to this point right here. Um, I might have an excessive amount of camber in the rear, but I should be okay. Oh, green tea is not good when it's cold. That was awful. I'm actually surprised at how stable it is so far. The only problem with the driving so far is the squat. That's it. Oh, oh, so that's first person view. That's, that's, that's not like, okay. Why did the game spawn in a line of traffic in front of me? Could you guys actually go somewhere else, please? Excuse me. Move out the way. You're really going to break. You're breaking. Are you serious? You know, I'm just going to go around you, right? Jesus Christ, so dramatic, these people. All right, so I figured out one problem. It's extremely unstable at high speeds. You know, I call 60 miles an hour a high speed. 40 miles an hour is trying to lose control. Uh, I may have taken somebody's side mirror off. Oh, 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 no, no, why is this happening every time I make a custom truck? Can I just have a stable bill for once? Like, it's stable when you're not erratic driver. Yeah, smooth is smooth. Almost hit that guy, but smooth it. Uh, uh, almost hit that guy, too. Smooth, we're smooth, we're doing smoothly. Could you move out the way, please? Slow driver, slow driver. I don't have time for this. Well, he's not doing well at high speed. Okay, straighten up. For the love of God, stop steering to the right. Slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. Oh my God. Everything is okay. Oh, we just drifted the trailer. I never thought I'd be saying that. Okay, we took that guy's bumper off, and it caused it to lose control. But you know what? I could probably still drive. I take that back. I still can't drive it. Hold on. Hold on. I got this. I got this. 
boom, right back on the wheels. Let's go. We have arrived at our destination. Yes, awesome. All right, let's offload it. Drop the door. The, uh, the load is a little too close to that door, so we can't use that door. Now, let's floor it. That really did not go according to plan. Uh, slide out, slide out. You can slide out now. There has been an accident. I, oh, I was not looking in front of me, I'll admit, but we should be okay. We're not okay. There we go. That should make it easier to get the load off, right? Ah! All right, the load is gone. We're now free. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> That wasn't very pretty. All right, so for the most part, this truck did exactly what I wanted it to. Just not on the track. It did pretty good on trailer load too. I'm actually impressed. I mean, it still drives. You know how awesome that is? We didn't leave a mess behind at all either. It's so clean. It, it's just perfect how well this worked out. Everything's still good. I mean, it's driving perfectly. This is incredible. Um, that is all the time I got for this video, guys. Hopefully, the next time I do this, I'll actually create the perfect pickup truck. So far, it's not working the way I want it to. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, you know what to do. Crash to that like button. If you'd like to see more content like this, subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell. Keep up to date with all my videos. As always, I'll see you in the next video. Deuces.